Today is a few days after the quiz we did on solving complex equations, but then also on determining if something is a like an ordered pair is a solution and then finding the intercepts for an equation. I guess I took for granted that we knew how to find intercepts because the section on that was not nearly as as good as I thought it would be. So I'm going to do a super fast video. The finding a sol or determining if an ordered pair was a solution, most people did pretty well on that, so I'm not going to worry about that. But here's a quick video on intercepts for those of you that are going to need to do a retake on that part of the test. So if we have lines, and I'm going to not give you the super quick version, but it'll be quick. I think most people understood, and this wasn't specifically on the quiz, but some people tried to do something to show this. I think most people understood that the intercepts are the points where lines cross over an axis. So for example, these points right here, actually, let me just go ahead and use this. Uh, let's let's do a highlighter. That'll be better. So these points right here, that's an intercept. That's an intercept. That's an intercept, and that's an intercept. It's where the lines are crossing the y-axis. So therefore, they are y-intercepts. Now, if we look at, how can I do this? I'll use yellow for the other one. So if we look at these points. These are the points where the lines are crossing the X axis. So these are X intercepts. So visually, that's what an intercept is. It's where the line crosses an axis. Now, if we wanted to write the ordered pairs, uh, you can say that an intercept like the Y intercept is, is one, but technically it's really an ordered pair. So the ordered pair will start with the Let's see if I can scroll up. Yeah, there we go. So we'll start with the blue line and we're going to write the X and the Y intercept. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, it's probably getting off screen. We might still be able to work with that. There. So for the blue line, the X intercept would be where the line crosses the X axis. So it would be this point. Right here. Oh, I didn't don't know what just happened now. Let's try that again. Oh, I still have it on highlighting. Let's change the pen. Uh, let's use, I'm just gonna use this just so it sort of stands out. So again, we're the, doing the blue line right here. So the blue line, the x-intercept is where the blue line crosses the x-axis. So right there. Well, that value is going to be, we'll write it in blue, it's going to be the x and the y value for that point. So the x value is 1. We go left and right first. Hopefully you all remember that. So the x value is 1. And the y value is 0. We don't go up or down, so the y value is 0. Now let's go ahead and we'll do the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is where the blue line crosses the y-axis. So that's that point up there. Now here, the x value is 0 because we don't go left or right at all. The y value is 3. So that's the x and the y intercept for the blue line. I'm not going to walk or verbally go through. I'm just going to start writing them down. So the x intercept for the red is down where the red line hits the 2 on the x axis. So we go to the 2 first and then we don't go up or down. So it's 0. So that's 2 comma 0. Not a great 2, but it's 2 comma 0. Uh, now the red line hits the y axis at positive 1, where x is 0 and y is 1. The green line, we hit the x axis at the x of 3, and then we don't go up or down, so it's 0. Ah, shoot, I'm going to fix it all over. Try that again. Oh, I didn't change my font colors, but that's fine. There, 3 comma 0, and the green line hits the y-axis at negative 2. So we don't go left or right. We only go to negative 2. And then last but certainly not least, the black line, we hit the x-axis at negative 4. And then we don't go up or down, so it's 0. 
And I got to scroll down. We hit the Y axis also at negative four. But we don't go left or right first, so that would be the Y intercept. Now, if you will notice, every single X intercept has a Y value of zero. So you can look at the top line that says X intercept. Every X intercept, the Y value is zero. That's because any time we're hitting the X axis, any time we're hitting this X axis, the Y value has to be zero. Like if you look at the up and down number line, every value on the X axis is at a Y value of zero. So you're always gonna have zero in the Y position if it's an X intercept. And then the opposite is true if you look at the Y intercepts. Every time you're hitting, oh, I need to use a different color, but we'll use that. Every time I'm hitting this axis, my X value is zero. The Y axis is at zero on the X number line. So you're always gonna have an X value of zero for a Y intercept. So we said in class that an intercept will always have a zero in it. Or if you see a zero in an ordered pair, that means it's an intercept. So all we have to do is use that knowledge to take an equation and say, okay, well, if I, I wanna find the intercepts, I just have to find the value of the variables when one of them is zero and then solve for the other one. So we just plug in zero for one of the variables. I don't know what color, I guess. So I know one of my intercepts is going to be zero comma something. That'll be my Y intercept. One of my intercepts is gonna be something comma zero. That'll be my X intercept. Because the first point will be on the Y axis. The second point will be on the X axis. So I just plug in zero for X times two plus one, solve for that to see what Y will equal when zero is one. So when zero is one, that just goes to zero. So Y equals one. Now, a lot of you didn't write the notation correctly. I didn't really take off, although I probably should have. The ordered pair for that Y intercept is zero comma one. Now I'll show you what a lot of people did in a minute after I do the X intercept. So now for the X intercept, I wanna plug in zero for Y. So I'm kind of going back up to this original equation up here, except instead of making X zero, I make Y zero. And then I have to solve for X. Well, two step equation, I subtract one, subtract one. I get negative one equals two X. I divide both sides by two. And if I now solve that out, I mean, I've already solved it out, but X equals negative one half. So my other intercept, my X intercept is negative one half comma zero. When y is zero, x has to be negative one half to make the equation a true statement. So a lot of you though wrote this for your x and y intercept. This is not correct. Again, didn't really take points off, but I should have. That is not correct. I was okay if you said the x intercept equals negative one half, y intercept equals one, um, but you can't write that. That is incorrect. An intercept has to have a zero in it. You can't write both of those two numbers in one ordered pair. So again, this is my Y intercept because it has a value in the Y. If I plotted these on the graph, I would get zero and one. So that's another way to know which intercept it is. That's on the Y axis, so it's the Y intercept. Uh, negative one half zero would be right down there in between, hard to draw it with this particular pin. That's on the X intercept though, so it's, I'm sorry, on the X axis, so it is the X intercept. You can actually graph it also if you really want to to find the intercepts, if you remember how to graph. Um, this value is the Y intercept, this value is the slope. So you would go one to the right up two. So from zero, zero, I'd go one to the right up two, right there, one to the right up two, and you can connect all of those in a line. So you're guessing a little bit with that because it goes kind of 
you know, through this this point right here, it doesn't go right through the corner of the, the grid lines. So you'd have to be guessing that it was negative one half. But again, if that's your if you don't know how to plug the numbers in in that and you can do that, I guess that's better than nothing. Again, there's another video on solving equations that you can watch as well if you weren't in class when I told you that. That was the other half of that test, the other grade for that particular quiz.